<laughs> oh my god, it was actually uh, an all. I know for that. What's what's going on there with the belch? News is going on. The rude. I know for a fact. <laughs> no news. I'm here to do news. Right. No fucking around now. <laughs> new thing. I was I was trying to write this down and I couldn't spell initiative. So there's a new thing <laughs> going on <laughs> in Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh my god, I know who that's home to. Who? Robert Mazel. He's from Mullen Guarantee. <laughs> Anyway, over in Louisiana, they had a school. They had a school. Yeah. Right? And there was 20 students arrested by the, the cops for fighting. Oh, jeez. In the one school year, which is which is terrible. Okay. Because everyone knows you do your fighting after school. <laughs> fucking Rookies. Why are they teaching them there at all? I don't know. Anyway. So the community got together and they have a new plan, a new initiative called Dads on Duty. Right. So all the local fathers come in and they're not doing security. They're not security guards. They're not strip searching people or any of the thing some people do. Oh, They're just chatting. How are you doing? Don't be fighting. Get to class. Okay, right. Like security guards. But they're not security guards. Okay, they're not security. Yeah. And I thought oh, this is a lot of shite, but it's working. Okay, right. Fights Good. gone. No more fights in the school. Uh, they're volunteer dads encouraging youngsters, and they're going to roll this out across the entire state. Of Louisiana next year because they said it puts out positive vibes. <laughs> Do you know what vibes are? Well, did you ever get a vibe? <laughs> because I heard John Paul on about it now, but he's an attrition. Right. <laughs> so I didn't want to chance it. Yeah. Could be dangerous. Could be anything. <laughs> now, I talking about uh, doing bouncing, doing security. I did bouncing once. Right. Did they ever tell you about the night I done bouncing at the local disco? Well, now, they said there's normally never any trouble. Oh, my God, there was trouble that night. <laughs> there was trouble that fucking night. <laughs> and it's funny, they said there was never any trouble after. <laughs> I just got a right bad night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a right bad night. Now, I had a fellow with me, Tony the Pony. A big man. <laughs> a big man. Right, right. Entertainment on the night was DJ Dallas. <laughs> DJ Dallas? Yeah, real name, Martin McCarthy. So... <laughs> He went to Texas once. Well, he didn't go to Texas, but he had the hat. <laughs> well, it wasn't a real cowboy hat. It was kind of a fisherman's hat with a sheriff's badge in the front. Right. So they called him Dallas. Of course. Around the town. DJ Dallas, fastest going in the West. Nice. He could set up the turntables in nine minutes. Lovely. So I told him, look, Dallas, you start handy now. We warm him up. I only turned me back. <laughs> I only turned me back. And he started playing the Bay City Rollers. Oh, jeez. Place went buck wild. <laughs> You gotta speed it up. <laughs> you gotta slow it down. Fellas didn't know what to do. <laughs> Fellas were completely lost. Didn't know what to do. <laughs> down, go do. Won't you take me to Tip Town? <laughs> there was nearly war. So DJ Dallas, the man who brought the hawk and buck to town. <laughs> and the town was fair bucked after. I say that. <laughs> Booked up. So Joey Ryan, first man in the door. <laughs> Joe Ryan. Neighbour of ours back home, smelled the cow shite and antifreeze, but a sound fella, right? <laughs> now, everybody knows Joe Ryan was still mad for young Sheila Lynch inside in town, the, okay. bank, the bank manager's daughter. Oh. Didn't Sheila start dancing with some other fella? Oh, Joe Ryan went for your man. <laughs> went for your man. Went for your man. A right flash Harry. <laughs> Same fella, a right flash Harry. You should have seen him. Side locks to die for. Oh, lovely, <laughs> right? lovely. Denim jeans. The white shirt with the big collar, oh, yeah. red shoes. Red shoes. Ken Clancy. Ken. Rich bastard. <laughs> a rich fucking bastard. Thought he was great. <laughs> See, one time, Ken went to Cork. They need all the gear. <laughs> he got all the gear in Cork. So we'd never even seen a picture of Cork. <laughs> <laughs> he came back, he was like Elvis. <laughs> so I went in and I broke it up. Right, of course. Said, of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I broke it up. Nice and easy now, right? Whoa! 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 Whoa. whoa. Clancy started giving me jive, giving me jive talk. <laughs> At the disco, right? Oh, oh, he started dead. giving me jive talk. I said, whoa! Well, I tell you, I hit him one slap. Oh, Christ. I hit him one slap. I broke his nose and two ribs. With <laughs> one slap. <laughs> With one box in the jaw. That's a fact. How hard did you hit that you broke his ribs? Nicely. <laughs> and then I tell you, I hit him a second box. Right. Straight into the gut. Oh. 
Strange the Goat gave him two black eyes. <laughs> wow. And he lost a bollock. Fucking watch him. One good slap. Oh, Christ. That was my bad hand. You shouldn't be doing that when you're bounce. That was my bad hand. <laughs> I hit him so hard. The phone rang above in the doctor's. That's <laughs> <laughs> a fact. He was on the ground. I says, take him away, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Tony the pony. And Tony says, where am I taking him, Lord? This is an LA fucking PD. <laughs> I said, no, I said, no, get him off the dance floor anyway. <laughs> Bring him into the kitchen or something. So the owner of the hall came over to me, the owner of the hall. And he says, well, he pointed out that Ken, while an absolute bastard, hadn't actually done anything wrong. Right. <laughs> I says, fair enough. I would apologise, but fuck him. <laughs> and he was gone away in ambulance that day. <laughs> 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 Who came in the door then next? Oh, no. Only Larry fucking Power. Larry Power. <laughs> we all hate Larry oh, Power. Another brawl, this fella now, right? <laughs> so he'd all, he'd all the gang with him. All, you know all the family? You all, know all, all the powers. All, all baby power, Paddy Shot, <laughs> Noel the Nagging. They were all with him, right? <laughs> Up comes big Larry Power. Smirking. <laughs> Looks me right in the eye and says, how are you doing? I says, what do you mean, how am I doing? <laughs> are you some sort of punk? <laughs> I said, look, Larry, if you want to dance, just ask. I said, if you want to dance, just ask. <laughs> and he gave me a look. <laughs> and I knew. Well, I hit him one slap. <laughs> right in the lunchbox. <laughs> right in the gut. He hit the, he hit the dick. He hit the dick. <laughs> and when he got back up, he had two black eyes. <laughs> and he was deaf. <laughs> Temporarily. <laughs> and that was only a handy slap. <laughs> I said, take him away, Tony. <laughs> now at this stage, there was more lads in the kitchen than in the hall. And the of the hall came down to me. Again. So oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. And you are giving free bottles of pop to all the women. Which I was, but he wanted to know that. <laughs> I said, look, bucko. Who are you walking around like you own the place? And he said, I do own the place. And I said, not to me. <laughs> he was trying to turn Tony again me. Tony the pony. Well, I hit him. One, <laughs> one right slap. Into his big squash court of a forehead. <laughs> right? <laughs> Straight away, all his hair fell out. <laughs> all his hair fell out. Popped out of his head. Wow. Like bursting a balloon. <laughs> he was shook. Well, I never would imagine. But he came back at me with a bottle of orange. Go away. In his hand. He, at last one. He was going to do me. Christ. Well, I hit him one <laughs> right slap. <laughs> into the belly. Right. Straight away, all his teeth came out. <laughs> Flew out of his head. <laughs> Christ. And people said to me afterwards, it was the best bouncing they'd ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I said, take him away, Tony. <laughs> Did you bring him to the kitchen? Well, I was the kitchen. <laughs> you know, there, were barely, there were no seats left at this stage. The kitchen was fucking giant. <laughs> there was no one on the floor. Stacked up. Now, I never got paid for that night. Ah, jeez. And it just goes to show you, a lot of scumbags out there. <laughs> A lot of people out there with Dewey if they got a chance. Ah, for a you know? Yeah, yeah. They all want it. Till they get it. Till they get it. <laughs> so people out there, if you're going out disco dancing around, you want to mind yourselves. Beware. Because a lot of fools out there. <laughs> a lot of brawls. Ah, oh, brilliant. That's the news. Thanks so much. Cheers. Over and out. Fantastic.